and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally and this is my friend Layla. As if we didn't know. All right then, in today's video we're going to be doing some, no getting feisty, we're going to be doing some smocking and I'm not even sure of the name of it but it's one I've found that's really quite textural and it lends itself to sort of sculpting on the silhouette and yeah, I'm wondering whether to put some beading on it. I may not have time, but it lends itself really well. So shall we get straight into this? So you can see that I've drawn out a grid. I've used pencil and they are one inch squares as per usual. Well, most of the time I use those and I I'll give you the measurements in a bit. I haven't made a note of them. Well, that's the design there that I've drawn out. And we're going to start up in the top left and the top right of the first square and down to the bottom left of the first square. Pinch them in and then one little stitch to hold those together. I always just put my needle through the little loop and make a knot. And then we are going to go down to the next square and we're going to pinch that in and put your little stitch through to hold those together, little knot. And then we're going to jump down vertically to the next square, a little stitch in it to hold that slack stitch there. We're not going to pinch that one in, but this next one we are. So that's another diagonal, pinch it together through the loop, tie a knot and then we're going to move down vertically. So with the verticals you're not going to pinch in and with the horizontals, sorry not the horizontals, the diagonals, you're going to pinch those in. That's what it looks like of the first row. And let me show you the other side. That's what it's looking like so far. Quite nice. And if we do the second row, which we're starting from the top again, then you can see that it's the same process again. You're going to do a diagonal, pinch it in, tie a knot. It's a little bit more fiddly on the next row because it's obviously the fabric is starting to, to, to distort and fabric manipulate. So you've got to sort of bend back the fabric, flatten it a little bit so you can see where you've drawn out your lines. And as I said, it's the same process again. So it's a diagonal and then a vertical, then a diagonal and then a vertical. And you start from the top and work your way down. By the time you've done this row, you'll be able to look at the other side and see some sort of formation starting to happen. For a little stroke. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Oh, whoa. In the camera. Oh. <laughs> Oi. Oi. What's that? What's that? <laughs> you can see that. Just mess around with the uh, thread. What's that? Hi. 
Hi. Oops, lost my, lost my needle. Oh no, here we go. Got good reflexes, haven't you, Lena? That is the second row done. Right, I am going to crack on and do all the best. Baby, having a little nap, quite a long nap. You've got a poorly eye at the moment, haven't you? It's on the men though. Okay, so I have finished the last stitch, and here's what it looks like. Gonna pinch a couple of those. It's kind of like a sort of cone spiky shape. Really do quite like it. Let's try it on the little mini mannequin. That's quite stunning, isn't it? I always love the idea of just draping down onto the ground, having more fabric. That's really nice and textural. Let's see. Loving it, loving that. What do you reckon? So I'm going to finish there and um, hope you're enjoying the summer holidays if you've got one. I'm trying to do two videos at the minute. They may vary in length and also in content and also the way I edit it. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here today. Thank you to those returning every week and I'll see you in the next video. Miss Squirt. There she is. Bye bye. Hey. Hey. One more thing out. Wow. Look at that. How crazy is that? It's got potential.